Okay, Coach Papalizio. Uh, Coach's convention, C3, uh, you get to come in and show a little technique, talk philosophy. What's it like to import, impart philosophy on people and, and talk about how you run your system at NC State? Yeah, it's great to get out, share what we're doing here at NC State. Um, it's Sometimes it's a tricky topic because it's, it's a thing where, you know, not everybody might believe in what you're doing or what you're about. Um, and I think that's what makes, you know, obviously wrestling and recruiting special is the kids have the opportunity to go to what they're attracted to. Um, what's in our control is what we do. And I just want to share the word with these guys is what we do at NC State and how we go about things. It might be a little unique, might not be to certain people, but I think it's, uh, it's who we are and what we do. And we just want to educate people on that. You're a super intelligent guy. Dresser, obviously. Thanks, I appreciate it. No, no, it's like incredible to see the wheels turn with you and see how you operate and so you talk to people. That's incredible to me, right? But when I look at what the, you know, the proof's in the pudding, man, you guys took a trophy back to, to Raleigh, man. Yeah. It's pretty incredible to me what you're able to do and you know, how hard is buy-in for you? You know, you, you got the guys, you know, Tommy Gant's the first buy-in, yeah. right? Of, of, of old guys who are on the team, right? Yep. He's the last guy that stuck around with you. What's it like recruiting by him? What's that like to you? It's uh, That was a huge part of the puzzle, is to go out, create this culture. Uh, I was talking to Dresser about it. Obviously, he is doing it again. He did it. Um, and we were just talking about that whole thing, is creating the culture and then reinforcing the culture. And it's a difficult thing to do. It's not easy. And how you go about it, I think, defines a lot of times how quick your success can happen at the college level. I've been fortunate enough to surround myself with great assistants. And then obviously, now these guys have gone on and are sticking around in our RTC. And they're great role models that already understand our, our culture. So it gets contagious. You know, once you're around an army of people that think and act a certain way, that's what you become. Um, so we want to continue to educate people and bring people in that will be willing to buy in. And it's it's a little easier to do now because I think people understand what we're trying to accomplish and what we're about. Um, and it, you know, there's always challenges to every level, but at least kids knowing that NC State has a certain philosophy and mentality um, that's that's starting to be created. I asked Tom Ryan this question. I asked you this question. You know, he said Kyle Snyder's non-negotiable. He cannot let that guy leave. You know, okay. barring the guy just wanting to be home, yep. he can't change that. But like, if it's a resource item, he's not letting that guy leave. Correct. Is Nick the same way for you and your head to see? Yeah, I think you you look at these guys that are program builders. Uh, they're world title contenders, which Kyle's obviously won world and Olympics. Nick's working to do that. Those guys are extremely important to the recipe for success. Um, and I think those guys are smart enough to know what got them to where they're at and why would you change a system that's already in play. It's a delicate thing to balance. And if you're in this environment and you've had success, why would you risk leaving it? But at the same time, it's our job as coaches to make sure we take care of these guys and keep elevating their resources and, and make sure they're happy. And that's a, it's a fine balance because it's a, it's a working relationship and there's a lot of loyalty with, with certain kids and programs. And, and that's something we have at NC State. You know, I know at the end of the year, every time, you know, people are trying to jockey for position and get certain guys, but I know one thing in our program, guys are going to find loyalty loyalty on both sides of the, the fence. Mike and Kevin, yeah. you know, national champ, multi-time All-American and Kevin, those guys, you know, those are guys yep. we're talking about, that's RTC guys. Yeah. What do you do with those guys? And is, it, is that an all cost, get those guys, keep those guys? Um, yeah, if someone does right for our program, we're gonna do what we need to do to keep them around. And those guys have that mentality and philosophy and we wanna make sure we take care of those guys. But yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of work this off season to put up a fence and say these guys aren't leaving. I mean, at the end of the day, I want to make a statement and let people know that if you're going to come and try to get somebody from NC State, it's going to take them a lot. Um, and that's good for wrestling. It's going to elevate everything. And, and these guys, it's the driving force for these guys to continue to keep training. And it puts a lot on us as coaches to make sure we keep bringing in the resources. But I want kids to know if they come to NC State long term, we're going to make sure we take care of them both. You know, as far as accomplishments uh, on their goals, and then the financial situation when they're all done, is to have them in play where they can wrestle full time. Two guys coming back for you. A guy took third as a freshman. A guy who was a runner up as a freshman. Yeah. Incredible. You know. Don't just, forget Jordan Oliver. Plays. I mean, He's there too. you guys are just—it's incredible what you have coming back. How do you up the ante and go third, second, first? Yeah. How do you how do you keep going? Um, new territory. So for me, it's something new. I'm not. I'm going to embrace it. It's a challenge. Uh, the year that we finished 11th, you know, we wanted to do better. 
and we learned as coaches when we grew and we implemented some things and I think that's part of becoming a great coach is how you evolve from the mistakes that you made and become better and your athletes understand why you're doing certain things so it's a lot of communication um, staying the course of what got you there uh, I think if you look at great programs they all have something that they keep doing over and over and, and they add to it and that's something we're trying to do as well um, but at the end of the day the people that need to believe are the people in our room um, and they do and that's what all I'm worried about is the guys know that they can put themselves in position to win individual and team titles. We're here in Florida, a lot of these people take some time in recreation with their family. Do you ever take any time off? I've never seen it, man. Yeah, go work out. Um, <laughs> That's what I thought. And Alice, you and I are going to go right after this, we're going to get a workout in, see who can out train who. Oh my God. Do you do you relax at all, man? This Seriously. relaxes. Did you get I mean, on the beach at all? I have not yet, but it's all right. We're are you going to do that? We'll work. Uh, there's another time to hit the beach. I don't know. We might get out to a pool for a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> All right, what's next for you guys? You going to Budapest? I just booked my ticket. Um, I'll be out there for, I think, five days. So we have two guys, obviously, that are going to UW23 as well. So it's balancing that with uh, some visits that we got set up. It's, you know, going out to the World Championship, supporting Nick. So we're kind of all over the place. Uh, we just finished up. We do need to add a recruiting calendar into NCAA wrestling so we can actually, like you talked about, take some time to regroup. Um, but in the meantime, we got bounce. I don't think you have that up. in you at all. I don't think uh, there's maybe. any regrouping in you, man. Yeah, a little training. Uh, get, that's how you get your mind right again. I don't know. There's a way to relax in that. And what do you guys start off with? What's the first thing for NC State like as far as schedule? Are you doing Italy again, by the way? Not Italy. I'm working with my brother right now for not this coming year, but the following year we're going to try to do another unique event to keep things. So internationally to go out and compete, I think it's every five years you're allowed to leave the country. Uh, it's a rule. really a rule? It's a rule. I've like so, never heard of that. Well, you'll notice other teams, you know, they other sports, they're, I think it's five years. It might be four, somewhere. But I know compliance-wise you're only allowed to leave the country and do that so many years so we have to get creative and uh, we're going to find another place to do Hawaii. something. Hawaii. There you go. I something did that like, event. I, I actually did that event. Yeah, it was great. Good. We need that. Our sport needs to keep evolving and be mainstream and be some kind of you know some kind of story to it and our, our Italy trip did that and it also gave our guys an unbelievable experience that they can look back 20 years from now and, and have something to talk about. All right. You got to go work out or go, go spread get the word. Out. I don't know. Go keep not resting. You got anything else for me? No, appreciate everything. Thanks. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys. Move forward. Thank you.